Hello. I want to thank you for clicking on my channel. I'm PI187. And today I'll be reacting to another Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun song. And this one is called Race War. And I'm sure we all know what this is about. What fucking the shit they're trying to push these days with the, the media anyway. It's okay to be racist as long as you hate on the Caucasians teaching white kids that their shades are Wow. It's okay to be racist as long as you hate white people. Is that what he's saying? It's okay to be racist as long as you hate on the Caucasians teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business. I ain't never going to give a damn if you like me. I'm going to trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Fight me. When I was younger, they taught me to never see color to treat every man as if he was my brother. But now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They come for blood we run it for cover. The government wants us to addicted and drunk in the gutter so we never wake up and never recover whoa he's going quick these days is he not really stepped up his beats white kids that their shades the same as school right, shooters and anyway. rapists maybe i'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women I'm not proud to be white women in high heels oh white but i'm fine with it because i'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business i ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me i ain't gonna trip when they stereotype me i'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter fight me when i was younger they taught me to never see color to treat every man as if he was my brother but now that we're grown up we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer they coming for blood and we run it for cover the government wants us divided and dumber addicted and drunk in the gutter so we never wake up and never recover call me culture vulture because i rap good i don't pop jams and smoke backwards but they call me a wigger and label me hitler and hate like <laughs> call me a wigger I remember those days. That's what they used to call me back in my younger days. That or a B boy. If you remember that. Yeah. One another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They coming for blood and we run it for cover. The government wants us divided and dumber, addicted and drunk in the gutter. So we never wake up and never recover. Call me culture vulture because I rap good. I don't pop sands and smoke backwoods. But they call me a wigger and label me Hitler and hate like I'm wearing a clan. And label him Hitler. Manhood, it ain't left or right or black or white. It's good and evil. I leave folks hate normal people. United we stand and divide and we fall. America, we gotta get real. You were segregated. That was not fair. You were enslaved. They did not care. But you were never on a plantation. And my generation was not there. That's trauma in your DNA. Yeah. Causing what we see today. I pray to God you staying strong. Don't want to see no man in pain. Your white folks are embarrassed. Some of y'all are such Karens. That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents. Get that poison out your veins. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race war. Dying every day for whose lives matter more. Whoa. I won't be dying in the race war. Our government is paid for. Cause our lives matter more. Whoa. If you born black, you lose. Might as well go get that. You gon' die before you 25 get shot over. Killed by police even when you follow the rules If you listen to the news, you gon' believe all this is true True, I ain't feel no white guilt They don't ride for me when I'm killed I guess white lives don't matter, sad But that's the way that I feel I feel like they feel like Like I don't know what they all call me Cis, white, male, bigot, racist He's a Nazi, that's not me I'm not one of these white liberal commies Who think black America needs allies in their army Your neighborhood's all gay and claim you pro-black But you faking guys are dying on the pavement All your hashtags won't save them That ain't gangsta Yeah, really. There's lots of them. Lots of poor white people out there. <clears throat> and yet, you know, I guess if your skin color just makes you privileged. All the homeless people in my town, they're all white. And uh, I guess they're privileged in a sense because they get to sleep on the side of the street all night and get <laughs> robbed by other people and whatnot. Go get that. You gon' die before you 25 get shot over your shoes. You gon' get killed by police even when you follow. Yeah. If 
Funny thing about these fucking homeless people. Thank Trudeau probably for that shit. But anyhow, um, the this, the town that I live in, we had one homeless girl here who's been here forever. Everybody in the city knows her. Fuck, I think there's a song on YouTube actually about her. Anyhow, um, yeah, she was like the only homeless person we had in our town and she was like last 25 years or something she was homeless and always been everybody knows her and now in the last five years say give or take maybe even four we've got over a thousand in this town they've been shipping them in and you know people in town also it's happened to but a lot of them are out of towners but yeah uh they're all basically all white and they're all homeless. And yeah. It's it's horrible. Know the rules if you listen to the news you gonna believe all this is true. True. I feel no white guilt. They don't lie for me when I'm killed. I guess white lies don't let it sad, but that's the way that I feel. I feel like they feel like like I don't know what they all call me. Cis white male, bigot racist, he's a Nazi. That's not me. I'm not one of these white liberal. just like four years ago now we're bringing her all back front line it's just it's not even just a race war now now we got a fucking gender war going on like they got us on fucking two different sides fucking getting our head on a swivel we don't know what the fucking way to look War dying in the streets should be us against them, but it's you against me. Ain't nobody gonna win. Everybody gon' see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed. I swear they want us in a race war. Back a bit again. I'm gonna hear some more of that. That was good. In the race for a government is paid for because our lives matter more. Whoa. They want us in the race war, dying in the streets should be us against them, but it's you against me. Ain't nobody gonna win. Everybody gonna see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed. I swear they want us in a race war Dying every day for Whose lives matter more Whoa. I won't be dying in the race Well, you know, together we're strong Divided we fall, and that's what they want They can control us so much better if they divide us Split us into two, or even four With all the different fucking little fucking ways they're trying to fucking divide us now because you know the race one they've been playing this fucking game fuck my like on and off fuck as long as you can remember but then we got a new one now we got the gender war 
which is now we don't even know what a fucking guy or a girl is like. We're just all fucking handicaps now. Fucking nobody knows nothing. Like, obviously there's two genders, male and female, but a lot of people won't fucking say that shit, you know? And, uh, yeah, that's the next fucking, uh, well, and over here, uh, obviously Tom and Adam are from America, and I'm from Canada, and over here, I'm sure you heard just last week, we had our big fucking, you know, stop fucking grooming our kids fucking thing, where Million Man March, or I'm not sure, I think that's what it's called, something like that, for, to get the grooming out of the school, and, uh, of course, Trudeau just, you know, tried to turn it around that everybody that was out there that cares about their children have to either be bigots, homophobes, transphobes, and then the new one I've never heard before, biphobes. Biphobes. Because I guess now we're phobic of bi people. That's a brand new word. I think Justin Trudeau made it up. I don't know. Never heard it anyways. But he's spewing that one. Anything. You just put phobe on the back of anything and you make it sound fucking horrible, I guess. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's our prime minister's go-to move is just insult and name call anybody who does anything or opposes anything he doesn't like. They have to be some type of racist or a phobe. And yet we all know Justin Trudeau did blackface, not just once, a few times. Actually, more times than he can even remember. He said it himself. Yeah, personally, I think white people have been done with this race war for a long time, like a long time, as like he said, it's only okay if you're racist one way, and that's towards white people, because like I hear a lot of black people, and mostly female black people to say the truth. But they say some stupid ass shit on fucking TikTok or YouTube that's just like the most blatant racist shit you've ever heard towards white people. Or literally just saying they fucking, that they straight up are racist or that they hate white people or whatever. And really, us white people were just like, eh, who fucking cares? Yeah, sure, it bothers you, but not like it bothers them. You fucking say anything. Make a joke. And holy fuck, they're gonna be picketing and fucking just like. And and it's not all of them, as you can see. Um I got this guy down here, he's got a good head on his shoulders. He knows what's going on. Uh what is that? Night. Uh but, yeah, and then there's the uh, Officer Tatum, and then uh, a few other ones. You got Candace Owens. They all fucking have their head on straight. They know it's all just fucking bullshit. But then you've got these other ones that just want to fucking have fucking, I don't know, YouTube likes or fucking TikTok likes or something. They just want to go viral, so they just say the most ignorant most racist shit and they know because either they're well they're mostly the black people saying it um i have seen some asian women too on here saying shit in a compilation i saw but the thing is you don't ever see fucking white people on here saying this shit just because you know really we don't uh it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense why we're still playing this game why it's not like is it, is it ever gonna end like, I'm pretty sure, like like I just said, I'm pretty sure it was over for white people a long time ago. We've given up on racism. I'm not saying that, you know, not everyone. There's certain people out there, and believe me, if they're racist, they let themselves be known. They don't hide from it. Like, 
Y'all seen that guy on fucking the YouTube videos that goes to the most racist town in town and talks to that white guy? He wasn't hiding from his racism. It didn't fucking bother him. And the reality is, a true racist is it isn't going to bother him to be racist. But yet, they got to look with a fine-tooth comb to try to find anything that a white person does that could be racist. Like, what was it the other day I heard? Fucking roads? Roads are racist or something? Like... I don't even know if it was Rhodes, but I'm telling you, it was just a, it, it was something that fucking stupid. Like, we're gonna give objects, say that they're racist now, for, and then you gotta like, you gotta fucking make up this whole fucking puzzle to go through to fucking figure out how this object is racist, and it like makes no sense at all, but of course they're just gonna say it anyway. I can't remember what it was, but for some reason, Rhodes is hitting my mind. I just remember it was fucking one of the stupidest things I fucking read in a while. And it's just like, wow. But, you know, the world we live in today, you can read something stupid, fuck, every 20 minutes anymore. Like, nothing, 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 I guess, can blow your mind anymore in this fucking world because it's just... Fucking insane. But, anyhow, good song, good message. Um, yeah. Back to the same old shit again, I guess, eh? Alright, you guys have yourselves a great day. And if you want, comment, like, subscribe. And, uh, if you haven't, go check out Adam Calhoun and Tom uh, McDonald's uh, site and give them some likes and some love and whatnot. And all right, I will talk to you later. Bye.